This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. <laughs> Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh... Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh... <sighs> Just say, Mayor, to the guy, and if he goes, the best, with gusto, then you've found your man. You got it? If you think you've found the collaborator, say, Mayor, and see if he says, the best. You got it now? If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Certainly I could do just that, but a man in my position must conduct it. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given. You want money! Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. In this particular instance, that- Rip us off more, why don't you? Do feel free to come again at any time. I still can't believe the mayor is working with Avalanche. Would have been nice to know. Idiots at HQ should have kept us in the loop.
She was just a bad dream. So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed, so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. Hmm. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy, to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, Ifalna was elegance, right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. Here's the 63rd floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. They look busy. The plate did just fall. What kind of particular to Seeing them like this somehow makes me feel a little bit better. 
support is getting overwhelmed by calls. We'll have to resort to AI operators. Let's find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. Welcome a special guest, Shinra's Director of Public Security, who has an important message to share with us. <clears throat> Everyone here at Shinra is deeply saddened and outraged by this unconscionable act of terrorism, but at the same time, we will not be cowed by threats or violence. To the people of Midgar, I make this vow. We will find the villains responsible and bring them to justice. Are you listening, Avalanche? You cowardly dogs! Run all you like. Shinra is coming. Do you think the other plates are in danger? Is it true that we're tired of the business again? No, I'm gonna be here a while longer. The mayor. Hey, shush. I'm on the phone. Hmm? Cool, cool. The mayor. Huh? Never mind. I remember this feeling. It was like this before the last one started. Do you think the other plates are dangerous? Is it true that the tie's gonna attack? I wonder how they might do Please, just leave me alone. The mayor. Oh, uh. Better catch him soon. Combat sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. This training in that thing really make you better. You work here? I don't recognize you. The mayor. Is the best. I was told to expect you. Need access to upper floors, right? That's right. Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Say what? Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line to prove you're worth it. We have a state-of-the-art combat simulator. It can provide a real challenge. Let me tell you, if you beat the sim, then the key card is all yours. Well, well. You gonna call it quick? No key card until you beat this thing.
finish it up. I've seen enough. Here, this key card will grant you access to the 64th floor. You can use the elevator to get there. Once you're up there, just what is it you plan on doing? We came to get one of our friends. She's being held- A lab. Then she must be with Professor Hojo. It won't be easy. Access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel only. We'll find a way in. Know where we can find- A board meeting is scheduled to start soon. It's being held in the main conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hojo, and the other directors will be in attendance. Think they like surprises? We can even take the president as a hostage. Think of the leverage. Try it, and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find out what they're planning. So you want to spy in their meeting? Hmm. I have an idea. Head to the men's restroom. You can climb into the air ducts there. They go all the way to the con- Thanks for the tip. Right? Oh. Holy shit! It's cool, bro. We went through training together. Damn. So you're still alive and kicking, huh? Some of the guys heard you got smoked. But I told them it was all bullshit. Hey, sit tight, man. I'm gonna go get Kunso. I'll be right back. Old buddy. You okay? Yeah. But you were just... I'm good. Let's keep moving.
Hmm. What do I want? What do I want? I trust the narrative is intact. Rock solid. The people have embraced the Wu-Tai Avalanche conspiracy wholeheartedly. I've almost come to believe it myself. Wu-Tai's response? So far, nothing. And if those cowards do react, all the better for us and our story. Very well. Then we shall stay the course. If I may, sir. There was one other matter. Oh? A message from our man Palmer. Damn it! Barrett. Yeah, yeah, I know. We came here to save Aerith. That's our first priority. That's right. We only get one chance. Hojo should be at that board meeting, so that'll buy us some time. We need to plan this just right. Joe is? Where he should be. What's the plan? Little bit of recon. Need to find a way to infiltrate that room. You hear the words coming out of your mouth. We just gotta find that bathroom so we can get into the air duct. Ask anyone here. They can point us in the right direction. No thanks. We can find it on our own. wait out here. Huh? You can't hang out here. Tifa, it'd be better if you waited inside. Maybe, but this is... Oh, never mind. You're right. Oh, thank God. No one's in here. Love to show them what the ones down below look like. Come on. Let's just find that duct. Gotcha. <clears throat> Look, I'm on guard duty. Right. So, can I go with you? Don't want to be here any longer than I have to. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Just follow behind.
I'm sure they're safe. But we live right by Sector 7, and I keep calling and calling, but I still can't get through. I heard that all the phone lines are down. It doesn't mean anything. You sure? Pretty sure. Depending on the board's decision, we may start two projects. Is it? I'm telling you, I saw him! With my own eyes, sauntering down the corridor! We don't have time for this nonsense! Ah, he was as close to me as you are now. The, the shock of it made me spill my tea! Enough already! If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. Mr. President, sir, I swear to you! Reeve. Sir, I have the damage assessment for Sector 7, and I'm afraid the figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction plan for... Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh, with respect, sir, Two I don't see words, how... words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> in their promised land, we will build a new Mako-powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the promised land even... <clears throat> <sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. So she can lead us to the promised land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. Personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is at your disposal, should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche than mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice. Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, we could have the Ancient reproduce. In the absence of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. 
Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So, what say you all? <sighs> hmm. <sighs> If there is nothing else... Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. Uh, please, sir! Something stinks. Anything? The man in the lab coat. Head of R&D. We follow him. Okay. And then we kill the son of a bitch. Not until he's led us to Aerith. That's the plan. Walking the halls of this very building, who would have believed it? I wonder... Hmm, were I to arrange a face-to-face... -face? <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, but that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long-term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Don't move! Hmm. I ain't bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head, unless you open that door right now. You must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists? Hmm. If so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The President's upstairs. Go on, shoot! Shut up! Keep walking!
None of y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll get used to it. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is! Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case... Yes. That might do the trick. Mind speaking up some? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. <laughs> I promise, <laughs> you will regret this.
No escape. I got this. Get the monster!
getting away. little egghead, ain't you? The results provided by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save Marlene! I'm afraid you misunderstand. <laughs> but I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home to extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. Heads up! Will they get here in time to save you from me? Why are you a soldier? Yeah. No, not quite. Oh, now I recall. My memory was mistaken. My boy, you were a soldier. What? Oh, what is this fascinating phenomenon? What's happening? Where are you taking me? What are those things up to this time? Cloud! <sighs> Barrett. Got it. Stand back. <laughs> Uh, 
You came for me! Yep. You good? I'm great. <sighs> Thanks for saving Molly! I owe you one! Save it for later. We need to go. <laughs> Aerith! What the? Come on. So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Uh, <laughs> did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? <sighs> Red 13. The 
designation given to me by Hojo. Then... you must have another name. What is it? He <sighs> got away. So, we're gonna go get the son of a bitch. You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, nope. Let's try another tack then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes, understood. The VP needs us. <sighs> <sighs> 